All right, now I want to talk about this uh, breath stop idea and how it can be used in style. And one style that was very popular, Fernando de Lucia, who is called the greatest of the bel canto tenors, uh, was a proponent of this style, which is the tone um, is uh, the, the uh, what is it? Il, uh, il tono fiore, the tone flowers on the lips. If you see me doing a breath stop and I'm out here, pa, well, that's way out here. If, when I do this, I go pa, pa, ta, da, sa, sa. So that's way out here, but I'm also bringing it back to there when I stop leaking. Guess what I'm bringing it back to? The lips. So I'm going sa, sa, pa, pa, oh, now, Caruso was one of his book, who was also Neapolitan, so was De Lucia. And uh, Caruso said little things like, uh, don't, never open your mouth, uh, no, never change the shape of your mouth when you go to a high note. So what does that mean? See? So I'm going, la, now you see singers going, la, 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 it's absolutely against every rule of, 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 of bel canto singing. The first rule was no action in the throat. Second rule was no change of emission. If I make the action, every action has an opposite equal reaction, so it causes me to change the emission. So if I want to go, la, 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 I don't change the shape of my mouth, and I don't change my emission. I down bow the whole time. Now, how do we use this in terms of breath stops? So if I go, Pa, 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 baby, ba, bo, ba, rigoni d'armonia, di bellezza di mezza, e bruna blonia, l'ardente amante mia. The idea is to line up the vowels and get them to stay in one place, in one shape, and because every action is opposite reaction, I don't want to be going like that. I don't want to say ooh, I don't want to say e, and I sure don't want to say ah, because it's a horrible, horrible distortion of language. You can't talk ha. We used to have this little funny thing we did with little with little children. Hi, I'm a wide mouth frog. What are you? Right? It's ridiculous. It's an obvious. When Caruso in his movie, The Cousin, wants to demonstrate how a singer who doesn't know anything about singing tries to sing, the first thing he does is open his mouth wide and go, right? If you really sing, if you're going to sing, uh, you know, I'm going to do this phrase I did a while ago. I did, uh, let's see, I did the boim. I did boim. And I did third act. So I go, bah, 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 bah. in one, in one, in one, in one, ascolta. You understand? Why would I go, what, for a high note? Why? I used to have a New Zealand friend. I've said this before, but I'm old now. I can repeat myself and people can accept it. But he used to say, don't open your mouth, mate. He said, you know, if you open the barn door, the cow will get out. So the idea is the, the voice falls under the mask and runs out through your mouth. And of course, that opens up, doesn't carry anything like the one that stays in alignment. So you vocalize, getting yourself established with a breast stop. Ta da 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 ta da 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 Why would I change the shape of my mouth? Think about it. So Mr. Caruso, pretty good singer, had a nice career. <laughs> That's right. uh, but even not just Caruso, there are other good singers that also, when they go to the high notes, they don't go, Ugh. in fact, if you watch most of the great singers, they do not do that, right? Uh, I remember uh, Mario Delmonico used to talk about it all the time, he had the singer right here. Oh, oh, eh, eh, e, e, oh, but he, he didn't, he didn't do that, ah, all that business behind us. Sometimes he would sort of leave it alone, right? 
Um, anyway, just start watching great singers and watch and see which ones open and which ones don't. If they do open, how much? There's the old saying about one finger in the middle voice and two fingers in the high note. Do I need to go la? Or could I have gone la? See what I mean? La 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 la. Oh, you the day I feel it violent. Go up there, I'm gonna say ba 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 ba. If I suppose it it it. Uh, has a lot to do with what category you end up in singing, what Fach is, the Germans say, which means category, and uh, how much work so you have to fight, and whether your voice has, uh, has, uh, is necessary to get over that orchestra as clearly and brilliantly as you can, you do not open. You don't open. You want the voice to go through here. You don't want it to fall out and come underneath. La, 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 la. Now, this is all breath stop country. Here we go. In other words, if I don't leak air and I don't suddenly explode air, I don't have to open. I don't have to accommodate the fact that I'm sending air up into my throat. And by the way, unfortunately, this causes a lot of damage to singers who blow air up into their throats and make a big, and I'm telling you, it's a wrecker. Remember, always, always, we live by the third law of motion as singers. The, 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 every action is an equal and opposite reaction. So we, everything we do reacts someplace. Okay? We want those that react down low. If I take a deep breath and pull my, ab and pull my navel in and breathe in my way down my lower back and go, no, my throat opened when I breathe and I'm not holding any muscles at all. My throat's loose, everything's loose, my tongue is loose. Uh, now all I have to do is go, not leak. So I go, pa, 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 ba, 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 ba. You get a high test of tour of music. Uh, I always love to sing this little example from uh, Lucita Lammermore. And, uh, and at the end, he goes, That's all above the staff. But I could be saying, Oh, you today we're going to go back down. Get something to eat. We'll be back later. Why would I do this? Why? So this breath stop business can turn into uh, style can turn into, it can permit, it can satisfy, it can accommodate the requirements of a certain vocal style. And one of the vocal styles was to align the vowels. And you have uh, all those songs, uh, you know, uh, we used to sing, uh, what's a good example, you know? Uh, we used to sing, Sreber uh, uh, Songs like that. Caro mio ben credi mi al men senza di te languisce il cor. The whole idea is to get enough breath to be able to sing that without having to to manipulate the mouth and the jaw and the tongue to make the diction. I can show you all of my reviews of what great diction I have. <laughs> that was one thing I could do. I could be understood, apparently. So I got good reviews for, for being understood. They said, oh, yes, we understood him very fine. Yeah. But you think all these languages that we sing and how we want to line them up. And we don't want to, well, I, I, I don't want to sing, uh, you know, I'm going to go downtown and get something to eat. I'll be seeing you later. Why would I talk like that? I'm going to go down and get something to eat. I'll be back later. Would you really want to sing like that? Would you want to listen to that? All I have to do is ba 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 ba, not leak. Say, I'm going to go down and get something to eat. I'll be back later, later. See? It also has a big uh, influence on your, on your line. I sing, oh, no, get Is it better? Is it better? 
Distorted. So I get it on my lips. Here we go. Pa is out here and pa 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 is here. So that I keep everything, my breath stopped, sitting on my lips the whole time. No. Who knows? What do you think? Una furtiva lagrima. Whoop. Una furtiva lagrima. Negli occhi suoi spondo. Why would I do that? Why? So I want to get this little bit of uh, breath stop and show you how to apply some of it to some style. And this is the great uh, Neapolitan style of not opening, not spreading. Who knows? Because maybe because their dialect is very close. I don't know why they got into it. But more than anyone else, they did that. If I need to open <clears throat> to please your ear, but I know if I don't open and I keep it like that, it pleases the ears of the people sitting way in the back of the theater at the top of the mountain because they come and tell me, oh, it sounded so big back there. It was great. Well, I wasn't seeing it any bigger because the high note, I just made sure that it stayed in alignment. And when it did, it sort of passes up into my, into my forehead. I go ba 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 la 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 And you're seeing some of that big Wagner stuff and uh, the orchestra is just going mad down there. What are you going to do? Huh? You really going to fight that stuff or not? Uh, uh, what's it? I don't know. Ein Schwert verhieß mir der Vater, ich fand es in höchster Not. Waffen aus ein feines Haus, seine Rache fand ratte ich hier. Ein Wein sah ich wannig und hier, entzückend bangen, zirrt mein Herz. Why isn't that okay? Why do I need to blah, 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 do that? I don't think so. I used to do uh, uh, fry shits all the time. To the world, to the hour, so gelighten since dahin. See? Sometimes you just need to just sort of know how to coast along, and then if we do, uh, we, if we do any uh, sighing method, Oh, no, no, no. I'm sighing right here, but I'm still maintaining the alignment of my vowels. And by the way, I do it in English too. I don't do it just in, in Italian. If I go, if I sigh from my able down, I go, oh, oh, why don't we go down now? I'd like to see you tomorrow. Maybe we can meet down Why would I not want to align my English too? Especially if it's clearer in the back of the hall and they understand me better and it makes the voice sit much more consistently in the true mask, which is up here. And it gives me a much, much more likely chance that I'm going to be able to down bow and not have to up bow. Once I do this, I have to compensate somewhere in my breathing, see? So the idea is to develop a vocal style 
where you where everything is lined up and you don't you don't knock it out of line all the time. Why would I think about it? Why would I do that? You know, I've got uh, why can't I just say the whole idea is a part of making the line is not just diaphragm and breath and sound, it is also pronunciation. I almost said diction. <laughs> but diction is more uh, um, pronouncing it correctly. And if I can say and make it sound like I'm a, a, a German who's got a, a big bite or something, maybe I can, you know, maybe, maybe that would be good diction. But it's not good vocalism. Good vocalism is to line everything up and keep it lined up and don't let it jump out of line. This is that sauber schön wie noch kein Auge je gesehen. I feel it, I feel it, wie das Götter Bild mein Herz mit neuer Regung füllt. I mean, why would I do that? That's all. So I wanted to touch on that. Uh, you can call it the alignment of the vowels, lining up the vowels. You can call it... Uh, uh, the, the, the tone, uh, uh, the tone uh, flowers on the lips, you can, you can think, as long as you don't, uh, why would I chew? Most uh, English speaking people say la 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 and na 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 da da ta when they talk. They say, oh yeah, but you know what, I'm going to London. I'm going to London next year. I'm going to go to London next year. But you should say, I'm going to go to London. I'm going to London next year. Why would I chew if I don't have to? Why can't I just leave this alone? Oh, it's so nice to see you. Have you been? Are you, uh, uh, tell me, will I see you when I'm in London? Okay. Will I see you when I'm in London or not? Do I really need to go like that? That's all. Breast stop, pa, then back it up, ba ba ba, on the lips, and then keep all of your language uh, lined up while you're maintaining your breath stop right there. See? Okay. Hope that helps, guys. Bye.